In this video, we're going to talk about relationships. Like we did in the last video, we imported a list of all of our employees. And so we have all of them in the application already, but our vacation request form still asks somebody to manually enter their first and last name. So what we want to do is we want to remove this field and connect this vacation request form with the employees form. So there's a relationship and every time someone makes a request, it's going to be related to an existing employee. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and click on this edit icon and we'll be taken back into the builder and we're going to edit the vacation request form and open the form builder. And what we need to do here is delete the employee name field because we're not going to use that anymore. And I understand. And now we're going to add a new field and it's scrolling down a little bit. It's called a lookup and we will drag and drop that to the very top. And here we get taken to everything we can do to configure this lookup field. So we'll start from the top applications. I can select from any application that I have in my creator account. In this case, we're just sticking with the existing app that we're in right now. So we'll leave that as it is. And then I create a relationship or a lookup to another form. And here we're connecting employees and the field is going to be the field that is being displayed. Now, when you create a lookup, you're actually connecting two records together. And so you get access to all of the fields of information, but it's really just what fields we want to have displayed in the dropdown. We'll go through a couple customizations here so you get a feel for what I'm talking about. Normally, we just want to display a name and then display format. A dropdown, as you can imagine, is something like this. A radio is something like this, where you have multiple options displayed and a little circle, a radio button next to it. In this case, we want employees to be listed as a dropdown, so we'll leave that as it is. And now multiple selection is maybe if we had a system where multiple employees were requesting vacation time together, or if it was for maybe logging work trips and two people went on a trip together, you would need to select multiple employees. In this case, we only want each employee to select or submit vacation requests for themselves. So we'll leave it as a single selection on the left-hand side and click done. Now by default, the name of this field is going to be the name of the form that we're looking up. We don't really want that field name to be employees, so we'll just leave it as employee and that link name will get automatically updated. And then we have display fields. So by default, because the name field has all these aspects to it, we don't care for a prefix, we don't care for a suffix, and we'll just leave first and last name. I'll come back and make a change to this so you can see what I was talking about in terms of referencing multiple fields. There's no real other field properties we want to select right now. If I had, if I wanted to, I could allow additional employees to be added from this form, but I don't want to. Um, and I could create a filter maybe for only salespeople or only management. But in this case, I'll just leave it as default and we'll go through and access this application. So here the employee field now became a dropdown and it looks up every single employee that was imported, all of the ones that were imported, as well as that Alvin character I made in the last video. So here, let's say Creed is requesting some time off and he's gonna request time off from, let's say Wednesday to Friday, and that is gonna be three days off, and I'll click Submit. Now, if I go over to my list of vacation requests, I can see two. The one that I created previously doesn't have an employee because I deleted that employee field that they were filling out before, and so there's no value there. This is the new one I created for Creed Bratton, and it gets updated with his name and his information. So that relationship has been created. Now we'll go back and edit this application and we'll make some other tweaks to that lookup field. So you can see some more options here. Come back to the form, click on open form builder. And here I'm gonna click plus under last name and I can select any other field that exists in that application or in that form. So I'll select role and I will just put like a hyphen separator there and click done. Now if I access the application and look at this drop down, it'll have the name of the person, a hyphen, and then their role at that company. And so here I know exactly what role each person is in. Normally name is all you could probably want, but maybe you have an employee ID that you wanna have listed there, or maybe you have some other piece of information. You can string multiple fields together to make that display look and feel however you want it to. So I'll come back and remove that role piece because it's a little clunky and simply click the minus there. And I will enable allow new entries just so you can see that. We already did it for the offices in the last video, but I'll leave it as it is and click done. So now that relationship has been created and every time a vacation request is logged, it's gonna be associated with an existing employee and only existing employees. 
if I want to actually, a good idea here would be to actually make the employee field mandatory because we need to know who is requesting that time off. And while I'm at it, I'm going to make every field mandatory here because if someone leaves any of these fields blank, the vacation request will be incomplete and kind of pointless. Indicating it's mandatory, the names got cleaned up, and if I try to submit without filling this out, it'll give me invalid entries. And so relationships is probably the core, most important piece of building a creator application. Data is always related to some other piece of data, and rather than having it all together, separating it into separate forms that are related to each other makes data organization, visualization, the reports we build in future videos, it'll make them all a lot better and easier to work with. So understanding that a vacation request is linked to an employee record is an important part about building applications going forward. But that's pretty much it. We basically created a lookup very quickly here and related those two forms. And uh, that's it. In the next video, we'll work on creating reports in this creator application. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.